Moving on, Afghanistan and Taliban have been the two buzzwords in South Asian discourse for the past two months. While the Taliban has been tirelessly defending its violent and regressive mode of operation, the world is worried about a rapidly deteriorating human rights situation in the country. Whether it was the Moscow summit on Afghanistan or the NATO Defense Ministerial meeting this week, the top agenda was how to bring stability, both social and economic, in the war-torn nation. All of them have unanimously urged Afghan leaders to mend their policies, but the group has brazenly put forth its position, saying everything was going as per the law in Afghanistan. We'll also show you how all their claims fall flat in face of a growing resistance from women demanding equal rights and employment. <laughs> Afghan women holding placards reading that they were part of the society and education and employment were their rights took to streets of capital Kabul this week. The outrage broke out in wake of the Taliban's exclusionary decisions that have barred them from education and have restricted their personal freedoms. It's been over two months since Taliban gained control of Kabul, but the older girls have still not returned to schools. Under the current Taliban dispensation, not even one woman is holding any office. They have also been barred from being employed in a large number of professions. And while it is a clear violation of the terms Taliban agreed to during the peace deal, its leadership during the recently held Moscow talks on Afghanistan, which was also attended by regional players, including India and Pakistan, maintained that the government they were heading was not just inclusive, but deal-abiding too. Government is in Afghanistan now also inclusive. Yeah, uh, you know uh, about uh, 500,000 uh, uh, employers working with us. All of the former, uh, former uh, employers. At a time when the United States' withdrawal has left a massive vacuum in an unstable Afghanistan, Russia, which according to many experts, is also concerned about a potential terrorism threat emerging out of Afghanistan, appealed nations to provide financial aid to the Taliban in order to provide it a chance to prove itself. Moscow has also urged the Taliban to endeavor for inclusive government, which is representative of both its political and ethnic diversity. Противодействие вышеназванным угрозам безопасности Афганистана и окружающего его региона, равно как и угрозам, которые проецируются на другие регионы мира, требует своевременного, адекватного ответа как внутри страны, так и со стороны внешних партнеров. Мы призываем движение талибов, и об этом только что говорили снова с уважаемой делегацией, строго следовать линии на недопущение использования территории Афганистана кем-либо против интересов третьих стран, прежде всего, конечно, против непосредственных соседей Афганистана, стран Центральной Азии, наших друзей и союзников. Taliban, however, has clearly denied, at least as of now, that it is changing anything in the manner in which it operates. It said it would create conditions for women within the framework of Sharia law, the sole component which the global community is apprehensive about. Since returning to power, the Taliban say they have moved as quickly as possible on opening up their government and guaranteeing rights to women and that they do not represent a threat to any other country. The US and the other NATO countries are not ready to believe the Taliban on face value and hence the money they could have directed for the people of Afghanistan has been barricaded. Repeated Taliban appeals have gone unheard, for they haven't changed anything on ground. Yeah, 
Meanwhile, the lifestyle in Afghanistan is deteriorating with every rising sun. Whether it is low-income group of guns, daily wage earners, or even big entrepreneurs, all have been severely affected. And it is not just about the women's rights. The Taliban is failing at every front. While it couldn't control the sudden fall of markets and is unable to provide salaries to its employees, it has received major setbacks at the security front too, with ISIS regularly and increasingly targeting civilians.